Hello everyone. Welcome, welcome, welcome to my returning lovebirds, hey girl. So glad you're back for more juicy advice. And to all the new faces in the lounge today, get comfy, grab your favorite beverage. Let's spill the tea on love, shall we? This is Love Lessons Lounge, your one-stop shop for all things relationships. Today, we're getting down to the nitty gritty of what makes a relationship thrive. So buckle up, because we're about to unpack seven things you might be doing that are total turnoffs. One, let's talk about criticism. We all have our little pet peeves, right? But there's a fine line between offering constructive feedback and constantly nitpicking every little thing your partner does. Imagine this, your man finally cleans the apartment, hallelujah. But instead of a simple thank you, babe, you launch into a lecture about how he missed a spot behind the toilet. Not cute. Here's the thing, constant criticism can chip away at a man's self-esteem. It makes him feel like he can't do anything right in your eyes, no matter how hard he tries. Think of it like this. Would you rather date a cheerleader or a drill sergeant? Exactly. Men crave encouragement and appreciation just like we do. So ditch the negativity and focus on the positive. Celebrate his wins, big or small, and watch how much more motivated he becomes to make you happy. Two, all right folks, let's talk hygiene. Basic hygiene is non-negotiable. First impressions matter. Bad breath and unkempt appearances can extinguish the flame. Regular showering and brushing your teeth are essential for well-being. Taking care of your hygiene shows respect for yourself and your partner. Put your best foot forward and take pride in your appearance. Treat yourself to a spa night and watch the sparks fly. One. Okay, lovebirds, let's talk about clinginess. There's a difference between wanting to spend time with your partner and morphing into their shadow. You were a complete and fabulous individual before this relationship, and maintaining that sense of self is crucial. Imagine your man is trying to catch the game with his buddies, but you keep blowing up his phone. Not exactly the image of an independent, confident woman, right? Giving your partner space isn't about being distant. It's about fostering a healthy dynamic. Encourage your partner to pursue their hobbies and nurture their own passions. In turn, you'll have the opportunity to do the same. When you're both living fulfilling lives, you bring fresh energy to the relationship. Four, mind games? So not fetch. Right ladies, let's address the elephant in the room, mind games. They're manipulative, they're exhausting, and they have absolutely no place in a healthy relationship. If you're constantly trying to make your man jealous, playing hard to get, or resorting to passive aggressive tactics, it's time to reevaluate your strategy. Imagine this, you're constantly liking other guys' pictures on Instagram just to get a rise out of your man. What message does that send? It screams insecurity and immaturity, and trust me, it's not a good look. Instead of resorting to childish games, communicate your feelings openly and honestly. Relationships are built on trust and communication, and when you resort to manipulation, you erode that foundation. If you have concerns or insecurities, address them directly with your partner. Five, let's talk about ambition. It's sexy. Having goals, dreams, and a fire in your belly is incredibly attractive. It shows that you're passionate, driven, and that you're not content with just coasting through life. And let's be real, who doesn't love a partner who inspires them to level up? Now this isn't about chasing some societal definition of success. It's about identifying what truly sets your soul on fire and pursuing it with everything you've got. Whether it's climbing the career ladder, starting your own business, or mastering a new skill, having that drive is contagious. Men are drawn to women who are going places, who have their own passions and interests. It shows that you're independent, that you have a sense of purpose, and that you're not afraid to chase your dreams. So embrace your ambition, set those goals, and go after them with everything you've got. One, 
Communication is key, like literally. All right, lovebirds, let's talk about the cornerstone of any successful relationship communication. And no, I'm not just talking about sending each other memes and heart emojis. I'm talking about real, honest, and vulnerable communication. Think of communication as the bridge connecting your hearts and minds. Without it, you're basically just two ships passing in the night, each sailing blindly in the dark. Imagine this. You're fuming because your man forgot your anniversary, again. Instead of bottling up your emotions and letting resentment fester, communicate. Tell him how you feel, why his actions hurt you, and what you need from him moving forward. Clear communication is about expressing your needs, desires, and boundaries without fear of judgment. 7. R-E-S-P-E-C-T. Find out what it means to me. Alright, my loves, let's wrap things up with a big one, respect. It's the foundation of any healthy relationship, and without it, everything else crumbles. Respecting your partner means valuing them for who they are, appreciating their opinions, and treating them with kindness and consideration. Think of it like this. You wouldn't constantly belittle your best friend, dismiss their feelings, or treat them like an afterthought, right? So why on earth would you do that to the person you supposedly love and cherish? Respect shows up in the little things, listening attentively when they're talking, valuing their opinions even if you don't agree, and supporting their dreams and aspirations. Disrespect, on the other hand, is like a slow poison that eats away at the fabric of your relationship. So there you have it, lovebirds. Seven common turn-offs that might be sabotaging your relationship. What are your thoughts on these love lessons? Have you experienced any of these turn-offs in your own relationships? Share your stories, insights, and advice in the comments below. Let's keep this conversation going. If you found these tips helpful, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to Love Lessons Lounge for more juicy relationship advice. Until next time, stay fabulous 